Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor of Mind Past Life Pro, and for this tutorial, I thought I'd bring to light a lesser known feature in the Cuta Shader. This one being the cinematic mode, which allows you to have cinematic bars on your screen as you play. By Minecraft Cinema Producers, this tutorial, as you can tell, is for you. And yes, in the latest public Cuta Shader, this one being the Cuta V6.0.82 Beta Ultra. Alright, let's begin. First, have the Cuta shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate final.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 21. To activate cinematic mode, simply replace false with true. Now, as you can see, this is sort of the thing you'll get when using cinematic mode. Both your top and bottom sides have black bars, giving the indication that you're playing in a 21 by 9 true cinematic ratio. Yeah, for filming in Minecraft, I can see where having these reference bars will come in handy. So, you can save and exit to Minecraft right here if you'd like. This is a perfectly fine resolution of cinematic bars to work with. However, if you'd like to learn how to alter the bars themselves, then follow me to lines 145, 146, 149, and 150. We'll start with lines 146 and 150. These values will allow you access to changing things like the opacity of the bars, like this. Take a look at this comparison with all the values I'd recommend you use. 0, 0.0, as you're aware, will leave the black bars at 100% opacity, meaning they're fully black. 1.0 will leave the black bars fully transparent, meaning they have basically turned invisible. If you change the value to plus equals 1.0, your bars will be completely white. Just a little thing I thought I'd show you. Oh yes, for future reference, line 146 operates the top bar, and line 150 operates the bottom one. And finally, lines 145 and 149. If you'd like to change the resolution of these bars, then these values are what you use. As an example, we'll make the cinematic bars a little tighter. So, I'm going to change the first value to 0.8. And to have the bottom bar also adjust by this change of 0.1, you'd be expected to change line 149's 0.1 to 0.2. In short, when you subtract a number, you add it to the next. When you add a number instead, you subtract it to the next. Since I'm a much bigger fan of the normal 21 by 9 cinematic ratio, I'd rather stick with that. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. As with all my Cuta Shader tutorials, versions in time will change, so if you have any questions, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. If this Cuta Shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do with that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!